All right, so let's get into some definitions. The last topic of this video. And the first definition is a transpose of a matrix. So if A has values little a sub ij, that's matrix A, has values uh, little a ij, then the transpose, written as with a T in the superscript, The transpose of A has values little a transpose ij, and that's equal to the jith value of matrix A. Okay, so if A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, then A transpose is equal to 1 with 2 with the diagonal swapped down to the lower, with the upper right diagonal swapped to the lower left, and and the second column is 3 and 4. If we have B equal to 2, 1, 1, 4 on the first row and 3, 1, 1, 2 on the second row, then B transpose. So this is B is 2 by 4. The transpose of B will be four rows by two columns, and the first row becomes the first col first column becomes the first row in the transpose. Sorry, the first row of B becomes the first column of the transpose, and the second row of B becomes the second column of the transpose. So that's another example. And just one last example, oftentimes we'll, we'll work with vectors and, and their transposes. So um, here's a case of a vector and the transpose of that vector, instead of a three by one vector, so um, a single column with three rows, we would have a single row with three columns. Okay, so notice that you swap the dimensions when you take the transpose of a matrix. A square matrix of order N has N rows and N columns. So a square matrix has equal number of rows and columns. A square matrix of order N is an N by N matrix. That's the definition of a square matrix. And while we're talking about a square matrix, I can all let me just write down this um, this rule, maybe to help remind you. To square a matrix, the matrix must be square. That is, if we want to multiply a matrix by itself, we would call that a square matrix. And they have to, so the matrices must be square.
n by n or m by n or l by l, whatever. Likewise, we can multiply matrix by itself p times and we could call that a raised to the oops, let me just put a punctuation mark to separate that. Um, if we multiply a by itself p times, that would be a to the p power. And uh, some following some uh, to, just to show you some of the rules, a raised to the p power times a raised to the q power is the same as a multiplied by itself p plus q times. Just as um, so, the rules of exponents for matrices are the same as scalars. And likewise, if we were to raise a to the p and do multiply that by itself q times, then the result is a p times q. So that's this is um, square matrices, and then I guess the second part was powers of matrices. So the next definition is a diagonal matrix. And a diagonal matrix is square. And it has all zeros except along the diagonal elements. That is, the diagonal elements are where i is equal to j. So a diagonal matrix D has a non, generally a non-zero value on the first upper left element. That's the first row, first column. It has zeros on the all the other elements of that row, and zeros on all the other elements of that column. But all the diagonals are non-zero. The next definition is the identity matrix. And the identity matrix is a diagonal matrix with ones on the diagonals. So we denote the diagonal matrix as capital I. And um, Again, it, it's n by n, where n is some arbitrary number. And it's 0 on all rows, on all elements, except for on the diagonals, where they have 1s. And we can, we can also write that as... Um, the matrix, again with the curly brackets, and the simple symbol delta ij. And the symbol is the Kronecker delta and it is defined as such that the, the Kronecker delta is equal to 1 when i is equal to j, and it's 0 when i is not equal to j. So when i is equal to j, such as, you know, if i and j are 2 and 2, then we have this element. When i is equal to j, those represents all the 1s on the diagonal. And anywhere that i is not equal to j, then you get a 0, and that's all the other elements of the identity matrix. 
And the property of the identity matrix is that if you multiply it by any matrix, you get that matrix back. So, um, and and likewise, you can pre you can post multiply it by matrix, and um, you get this. You can pre post multiply it or pre multiply it. And in the first example, if A is M by N, then by definition, what's implied is the identity matrix being used is an N by N diagonal matrix. And, of, and then you get A back, which is, of course, M by N. As opposed to the second case, where we, we multiplied an M by N matrix and we pre-multiplied it, then I would be defined as an M by N matrix. And again, we, we have to do that to keep the two matrices conformal. Uh, so just so you know, I can be of, of the appropriate size to make this multiplication possible. OK, so that wraps up this video. We talked about why we would use matrices, and we talked about how to add and multiply them. We define the transpose matrix, a diagonal matrix, and then the identity matrix.